Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbal's product team. This video will walk you through the advanced settings for the work request portal. Work requests allow anyone in your organization, even without a Limbal account, to request work. If you haven't already, check out our video about the basics of the portal and then come back to this video. Advanced settings allow you to personalize the portal from the requester's view. Based on the requester's responses, you can also create automations on the back end to prioritize, assign, and tag work. This eliminates manual steps to triage incoming requests and ensures work is routed to the appropriate user or teams without having to lift a finger. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. To access your portal's advanced settings, Navigate to the Setup and Configure Work Requests page. Click the pencil icon of the portal you want to configure. In the new window, scroll down to Advanced Settings. The first section includes a few basic customizations. The title text appears at the top of the Work Request portal. By default, it is Submit a Work Request, but it can be customized. Tag this request with a custom tag allows the requester to tag their request with a custom tag. If this is included, the requester will choose one of your custom tags from a drop-down menu. Use Custom Work Request Template allows you to create a customized template that will be generated when a work request is submitted. This allows you to put more structure around work requests. In the new window, you can bring in information from your work request fields by using placeholders. By default, the template includes the work request title, the requester's contact information, the description of the work request, and any picture the requester may include. If the placeholders are not added to a work request template, they will not be carried over to the task and that data will be lost. You can make changes to this work request template just as you would with any other task template in Limble. You can add instructions, associate tools and parts, add custom tags, and configure task settings. If you want to reset the template to its original state, simply click the arrow icon and confirm your choice in the new window. The next group of settings are custom fields and dropdowns. Custom fields can be used to gather information specific to your organization's needs. You can include up to three custom fields in a work request form. If a custom field is shown, use the name field to tell the user how to fill it out. For example, you can say room number. A custom field acts as a text box, so requesters can enter letters, numbers, or special characters in their response. Next up are custom dropdowns. Custom dropdowns show the requester a predetermined set of options to choose from. Based on their response, you can configure settings to assign, prioritize, and tag work automatically. This is where the work request portal can save you time that would otherwise be spent manually triaging tasks, assigning the appropriate teams, and prioritizing requests against other work. When a dropdown is shown, enter the instructions or description in the name column. In this example, I can say, what time of day are you submitting this request? Then add your options by clicking Add Option. When the text box populates, Name your option. I'll call this 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now I can customize this answer with the desired automations. Click the cog icon next to the name to expand these settings. Automatically assign the work request to assigns the work request to a specific user or team if this option is selected. Click on the blue text to make changes. In this example, I'll assign it to the morning shift. Add Custom Tags tags the work request with custom tags. Unlike the tag option from earlier, this will not be visible or configurable by the requester. Click on the blue text and select your desired tags from the dropdown. Change Work Requests Priority to changes the task priority if this option is chosen. Click on the blue text and select your desired priority from the dropdown. Use Custom Work Request Template allows you to create a custom work request template for this option. It's important to note that this custom template will supersede other custom templates. So if you created a custom template in the settings above, the template here will be used if the requester selects this custom dropdown option. 
due X after it is submitted sets a specific due date based on the requester's response. The time frame is days by default. You can change it to hours by clicking the blue text and entering the desired number in the field. Finally, you can use the hint field to help the requester make a choice. This text will appear if the requester hovers over the question mark icon. Repeat this process to add more drop-down options. Here, I've added 3 to 8 p.m. as an additional option and configured the settings. I've also created another drop-down question to ask the requester which best describes the issue and added options and settings. You can have up to three custom drop-downs. If you include more than one drop-down, the last drop-down where you've chosen an assignment or priority will determine the final assignment and priority of the request. Tags will not be overwritten, so any option that includes a tag will add that tag to the request. In this example, I have designated the morning and afternoon shifts as the assignees based on the requester's response for the first dropdown. For my second dropdown, I have changed the assignment to the manager for the plumbing option. So if the requester chooses the 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. option from the first dropdown and plumbing from the second dropdown, their selection of the plumbing option would overwrite the original assignment of the morning shift to the manager. Let's move on to the next group of settings. These are more options to change what the requester sees and how they submit tickets. You can opt to generate work requests via email by using generate work requests from an email. We typically don't recommend using the email method in most instances. Emails do not allow the requester to assign an asset which adds a layer of manual work when the request comes through. Requesters will also not have access to custom fields or dropdowns via email, making it more time consuming for your team to triage requests. If you'd like to use this feature, click Add Email. The email must end with at task.limblecmms.com, but the name can be anything you want. You can also customize the work assignment and work request template. To add more emails, repeat this process. Let's move on to the final section. Add your company logo to the work request portal by clicking the photo button and selecting your icon from your documents. You can set a default language for the work request portal by choosing one of our supported languages from the dropdown under Language of Work Request Portal. Changing the language will only apply to text embedded in Limble. This includes header text, tooltips, and other static elements. Any text entered manually by you or the work requester will not be translated. We recommend using a third-party translation software or browser extensions to support translating text that was manually entered into the system. Last but not least are surveys. You can include a link to your favorite survey software that will be included in the email to the requester once their issue has been resolved. In the survey link title field, give the survey a name. In the survey link field, add the link to your survey. It will look like this. Let's briefly cover some of the global settings that can be customized for all work request portals on your account. These can only be configured by super users. Navigate to the settings page and scroll down to work request settings. I'm not a robot requires the requester to verify that they are a person. This helps mitigate spam issues. Set a default due date for work requests by entering a value under Work Requests Default Due Date Is. By default, the time frame is days. Click on the blue text to change it to hours. By default, when a requester wants to check their work requests, they can only see their own work requests. You can change this under When Checking Work Requests, Requesters Can View, by selecting All Work Requests from the dropdown. When completing a work request, your technicians can provide completion notes to the requester. By default, completion notes are optional, but can be required if desired. Under When Completing a Work Request, Notes to the Requester are, select Required from the dropdown. Limble uses natural language processing and machine learning to warn work requesters that another person may have already submitted a work request for the same problem. You can adjust the sensitivity of this feature by up to five phrases. Under When Submitting a Work Request, Show Similar Open Work Requests If They Match, 
select the desired freeze match count from the dropdown. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.